Welcome back to Blue's Two Minute Garden Tips, Dehydrating Onions. Obviously, first we start with our red onion. These came out of my garden. These are uh, Long Day Red Onion, Ruby Red. Uh, first, you want to cut them, peel them so that you get that outside papery skin off. Um, I don't mind losing one whole layer of the onion just to make sure I don't have any of that paper uh, when I dehydrate. Um, cut those all off, prep your onion, and then what I'm going to do is all of when you're dehydrating, you basically want to make sure that all the pieces are about the same size. So I just want to get nice little tiny cubes uh, all about the same size, roughly the same size, and that gives you the best results when you go ahead and dehydrate so that some aren't really papery dry and some aren't a little bit rubbery or something. The goal is to make sure that they're all very consistently the same size. Uh, the next is to make sure that when you lay them all out, you've got all your onion, um, one layer, again, same size, but basically all one layer. And that gets you all prepped for getting your onions into the dehydrator. Um, for me, I don't like them to be piled on top of each other. I do like it spread out. It just goes faster uh, when you're dehydrating. Uh, I don't know what your dehydrator is or how you are going to do it. So I guess really when you do your settings, you're going to have to experiment the first few times. But for me, um, really, I get mine into the dehydrator. I always use parchment paper too. It just makes it easier for on cleanup. But I do everything at 130 130 degrees Fahrenheit, and about four hours. Uh, after they're done, take them out. Um, make sure that they're, you know, just give a quick once over, make sure that they're all, uh, basically all the pieces are in good shape. Then for me, I happen to use the same jars I use for my, many of my jellies and jams. Uh, I just have them all in my spice rack, and that's easy enough for when I'm all set for, cooking soups or stews or um, stir fries or whatnot. I have all of the onion right there in front of me. Easy enough to do. Please remember to like and subscribe for more Blues Garden Tips. Thank you very much.